My name is Kim Calders and I'm a research professor at Ghent University and our team studies forest dynamics. Forests play an important role in the global carbon cycle. They provide a range of ecosystem services such as biodiversity conservation and also the cooling of the local climate. And through their growth and photosynthesis, they also absorb global CO2 emissions. But what we've been seeing recently is an increased number of disturbances that can change the structure and the species composition of forests. Forest disturbances can be human-induced or natural. So examples of human-induced disturbance is logging, for example, and natural causes can be fire, insect outbreaks or drought. For example, in Belgium, we've seen an increased number of drought in the last couple of years. And it's very important that we understand the drivers and why these disturbances are happening, not only at local scale, but also at global scales. So let's talk about forest structure and why it's a good proxy to monitor forest disturbances. So forest structure is a spatial arrangement of elements in space. So where is the stuff located? And forest structure and climate are sort of codependent. For example, large trees, they are more vulnerable to drought, but they also contain the most carbon and are therefore very important for the ecosystem. Over the last couple of years, we've seen an increase in number of satellites and availability of remote sensing data to monitor disturbances at global scales. But what's equally important to collect data at a local scale for the calibration and validation of these satellites. So what we do is we link very detailed measurements of in-situ data with satellite data through radius transfer modeling. So a radio transfer model essentially simulates what a specific sensor sees when it looks at a specific object. See, in our case, the sensor is a satellite and the object is the forest. The real difficulty is getting a digital replica of the forest into these radio transfer models, because measuring forest structure is very, very difficult. Here you can see a terrestrial laser scanner, and we use these surveying instruments to basically scan the forest in 3D and then model a digital twin of the forest that we can use in these models. So the instrument is a laser scanner and also a camera on top, which creates a 3D image with RGB coloring. So the laser emits laser pulses and then receives it back. And by doing this with millions of pulses in one scan, one scan typically is two to three minutes, we can build up the whole environment in 3D. And once we have the point cloud, we segment individual trees and we model the individual tree structure with quantitative structural models that are the basis of our digital twin. The bigger picture of what we try to achieve is to use these digital twins to get realistic satellite simulations. So ray transfer models have been around for a while, but it's only now that we have the tools to feed them with realistic 3D digital twins from terrestrial laser scanning. And by making these digital twins before disturbance, after disturbance, but also to monitor recovery, we can get better understanding of how to use the satellite data to monitor forest disturbances at a global scale. And this will also be important to reduce uncertainties, for example, in global forecasting of carbon dynamics in the context of the IPCC. If you're interested in this, please feel free to contact me.